All right. So uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a uh, Virgo Rising weekly general tarot reading, March second to uh, March eighth, twenty twenty. And in case uh, any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So. Moving next, it is the reading itself. First card standing for the topic and the very theme of the week for you. Uh, that is to be the King of Wands, oh, Cups, excuse me, not the Wands, it's the Cups one. Um, with the energies feeding and supporting the topic here, we do have uh, the Temperance. Next one is going to be the challenges that you will need to overcome here. That is to be the uh, Four of Wands. Afterwards, uh, we do have uh, the um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week so we do have two different topics really that is to be uh, the uh, knight of cups then it is how people are seeing at you what kind of impression you are leaving to the people around that is to be the two of wands and the last one here which is the guidance that tarot is offering to you guys we do have the four of cups now a lot is to be it is to be explained by the guidance card probably now i should start from it or should i incorporate it throughout the uh, rest of the cards okay let's uh, let's go traditional let's move with the first cards moving forward so we do have these two here. Uh, Energy-wise, a temperance, it does point that there are to be, first of all, a lot of chores for you to take on for throughout the week, career-wise or relationship-wise, that is. But exactly those chores, it is what's kind of from a uh, irritating thing to do, it turned out to be exactly what needs to be done so you can make a future progress moving forward career or relationship-wise. For a reason being it is that those chores are tightly related to that person, King of Cups. So as a topic and uh, situation, King of Cups is usually someone who either offers you a helping hand or shoots you with a tempting offer itself. Now that could be, for example, someone who offers you a job, someone who offers you a, a relationship, or someone who is helping you with the chores, seeing that you do deserve that help that is related with uh, the temperance card or that you do deserve their attention in general. Why? Now the King of Cups, these people, they are capable of deep emotions, but they, they, they are the masters of taming their emotions, meaning that although they kind of feel things, they do not allow those feelings to influence their decisions. And that's why the King of Cups are the most professional among the kings. And if they have decided that you deserve their attention, you deserve their help, that you deserve their proposal, that means that you, worth, you are worthing their attention or kind of like that you do worth their time, you worth their while. And uh, if that's someone who approaches you for a, for a relationship, now make no mistake, they truly have an emotional attachment and connection, but that may not be exactly the behavior you kind of like typically see when someone is in love with another person because with the king of cups being in love does not mean that they have to kind of show it in front of the world now just on the opposite they kind of conserve that state for when they are uh, al uh they are alone with uh, their chosen one so only when there are two of them they kind of show and express their love, but when when there are many other people around or even one more person, it is like their their behavior, it is just as casual as possible. And for that reason, that could be, for example, a secret admirer for you, Virgo, that you have no clue that they kind of have an affinity towards you. It is because you are meeting with them, uh, having other people around in the company or into the social circle and they kind of cannot find the right time or time with you alone to share their emotions that now they're just saying as an example and uh, it does look like that throughout this week that's uh, going to end as they are going to 
either find the right moments or they are going to force the right moments around seeing you know the chores that you're going through in a sense of that probably they will offer a help and there you go you have time alone and so they shoot you with the offer that they have to present another thing with the temperance here as a um, energies that are feeding the situation uh, it does point that the king isn't judgmental really i mean they kind of like acknowledge that everybody has their own life their own battles their own opinions as well but these differences that may exist in between you and that person itself they don't they don't have to be exactly gaps that are dividing you apart but they can be the differences that makes you special to one another and therefore you can re you can face a lot of sorry solidarity excuse me and compassion from that specific person that stands out for you throughout this week march 2nd to march 8th 2020 now next one it is the challenges that you will have to overcome here throughout the week and that is to be the four of wands and the four of wands kind of points to the finalization of an important cycle into one's life so what the card really tells me here in this reading it is that before you can jump with the end in into the enterprise that the king of cups offers you you have to sort the rest out i mean you have to finalize or reach closure with other things and another example of it it is that if that's um, uh, someone with intention for a relationship with you you have to first reach closure with ex if you do have around or your husband that you're going or a wife that you're going through a divorce for example and so on and so forth so that situation itself can stretch for a a lot of time <coughs> until you kind of close the chapter out there and uh, another thing here with the, uh, the four of wands it is that uh, you may kind of like uh, miss the importance i don't know how to say it uh, a, a detail out there in the whole situation in between you and the king of cups that it is quite important but unfortunately have been left neglected by you is because you're not finding the importance of the detail itself while it is important for the king of cups and this is where as well that we can have a certain backseat on on the situation itself but it's not going to be something to die for let's say but it's just going to delay the whole unfoldment of uh, the mutual cooperation that you can have with the king of cups which could be by the way as well a woman king of cups it is just an archetype of a person someone who is like like said a uh, capable of deep emotions but it is also a master of taming those emotions therefore they are taking completely balanced decisions almost professionally like uh, next one here it will be in regards to the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and we do have another person that is to be the king the, the uh, knights of cups this time around so knights of cups uh, these people they always follows the dream of their heart for them nothing else really matters now for one or another reason your dream is their dream now i do not believe that that could, that is a suitor of yours it, it looks like more like a, a friend of yours it looks like that it is more like a colleague of yours someone like that if it is all about suitors throughout this week it is the king of cups that is that appears to be a suitor that is someone who encourages you to follow the dreams of your heart and if you want to cooperate with the king just go ahead and do it because at the end of the day now this knight of cups is going to teach you a very valuable lesson now i'm going to say it but one thing is to hear about it another thing is to go through it and uh, for the knight of cups nothing comes for free nothing comes out of nowhere nothing comes on its own accord results that one produces or that one can um, kind of like enjoy themselves with uh, are completely reciprocal to the efforts that one exerts therefore uh, the knights of cups here is going to encourage you to jump into cooperation either business career or a romantic friendship one with the uh, king of cups seeing that actually your dream can be fulfilled by or through uh, that particular uh, that particular cooperation so we do have like a uh, if you will a s opening your eyes or sobering you uh, for what kind of potential 
this offer of a helping hand or a, a, a straight away a offer for a new enterprises a new enterprise comes from the king of cups uh, another thing about uh, the uh, helping hand here that may come around from the king it is that you may face it with a bit of ego meaning that oh no you know i'm fine i'm gonna deal with it on my own now oh, guys there is no need to do so i mean the card itself points that there is no need to turn away a, a helping hand so from another standpoint the week itself it could be exactly the week that you need in order to sort your things around especially in those that you are struggling with uh, as the helping hand from the king of cups is going to be quite enough for you to um, kind of like uh, reach closure here as the four of cups uh, as the four of wands excuse me suggests that you are going to have struggle with now our uh, next one uh, is going to be in terms of how people were looking at you what kind of impression uh, you are living into the people around and uh, two of wands I do be, uh, what I said about the helping hand that is going to be in a very very few cases because people are going to look at you and they're going to see a, a shine of adventurism in your eyes uh, it's like you know realizing what kind of potential you do have and that up until now you didn't have exactly the room or the prerequisites if you will to unfold that potential it is because the two of wands is all about um identifying that you have uh, established a, a good foundation you have established a good skill say or a a, a, a good means productive means but at that current stage none of them are maximized and therefore you are start deliberating or you are to start deliberating or you are to start kind of like reconnoitering as well how you can <clears throat> how you can capitalize on all the means skills knowledge and etc that you do have which once again comes from the behalf of the king of cups because through that offer that's enterprise itself is going to allow you allow you to unfold yourself for example if that's a suitor it will allow you to unfold your love if that's a, a business proposal it will allow to unfold your business skills uh, acute business sense as well um, <clears throat> knowledge and etc etc it's generally people are going to see you that you finally have the uh, prerequisites you need to kind of like um, develop yourself to your limits for the time being of course that doesn't have to stop here you can learn more or you can kind of figure out a better uh, bigger enterprises for you in uh, and your lover if that's a uh, your lover but in generally the week kind of like focuses on the uh, limitless possibilities that you can have through taking the offer or the helping hand of this person king of cups that's come around that that comes around and it's uh it finishes with that as well now here we do have the four of cups as the uh, guidance and what the four of cups preaches a guidance well the four of cups as a guidance stays, stays like that it is that sometimes in life we kind of reach a point of limbo what i mean is that we are kind of satisfied of where we are but also we know that that is not going to keep up being like this forever and uh, this ending of um, consuming the last fruits of our, our of our previous labor is coming so our benefits are coming to an end and right now we have to push ourselves a little bit to prematurely end this time of peace if you will meaning of no advance moving forward but just enjoying our current positions and take on a um, i cannot say really extra extraordinary but rather gaining full a uh, new offer position opportunity enterprise and etc etc so ultimately with the four of cups it does look like that it is entirely up to you are you gonna decide yes i'm gonna cooperate with you either romantically or business-wise or no I'm not going to but the four of cups uh, urges you to do so because if you observe the card itself now the person stares at the three cups here that seems to be quite empty doesn't they so that reflects your current achievements say and another one it's offered here but for one or another reason the person doesn't look quite content uh, to take it
while it can. The only thing that misses to do so it is the uh, mental awareness to look at his rights. So that's, uh, that's entire thing for you guys is just you need that mental strength and awareness to believe that it can happen I, I, and it really can happen with uh, the King of Cups. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. It does look like that amazing person is coming into your life. Hopefully you don't miss it. And um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, once again, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. That being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.